Hello everyone, I'm Chimmy Joe. Welcome to Chimmy Joe Gaming. Uh, we're playing another Momir. For those of you who don't know what Momir is, you get an avatar, you pay X and you discard a card, and you get a random creature of converted mana cost X. Um, Dex is full of lands, and so, you know, the uh, those creatures with uh, undergrowth do nothing. Um, if you have nothing to, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. You'll, uh, you'll see more as we, uh, as we go along. But, uh, I'm gonna skip the one drop because the only one drop that's even worth it is, uh, Llanowar Elves. And you'll be very lucky if you actually get it. So it's good to preserve your lands because you do need to discard a card, um, every time you do it. So, oh boy, they got a 1-1 flyer. All right. Two is really good because there's a lot of good two drops and you could hit Incubation Druid. And Incubation Druid is always good. Hey, I got a 2-2 two, two flyer. Not too bad. I can block the other one. There are so many different creatures that you could actually get um, in this pool because it's literally everything on Magic Online. Well, Magic Arena. Momir on Magic Online is even better because you get stuff like from Arabian Nights and um, like betas and really early uh, sets. But this one only has the sets that are currently on here. It might have the previous sets like uh, the ones that just rotated out, which was like Kaladesh and such like that. But I'm not sure if it does. I'm pretty sure when they get rid of a set in Standard, they're just going to have the only cards from Standard. I don't know what this guy is waiting on. It's... Okay, well, he might have AFK'd. Um, well, we're going to drop a three, and we're probably going to win because he's going to time out. Fleshbag Marauder. Each player sacrifices a creature. Okay. Attack two. Last turn. And we wait to see if he is actually AFK. And we win. Okay, so it is discarding. Uh, I thought after a couple of... Uh, it's usually, usually after a couple of um, timeouts, it, it just ends the game because they were... AFK for so little time. Oh my gosh. Why don't they just end the game? In regular formats, they just end the game. Alright, well. More waiting, I guess. There we go. Alright. It finally registered that he wasn't there. I'll take it though. It's extra money if we get more wins. Makes me be able to play more Momir. This format is honestly fun to me just because I get to see cards that I'm not normally used to seeing on the field. Uh, we're going to skip one again. One is pointless. Most people realize one is pointless as well, so... What is this? Sacrifice Smelt Ward Angus. Uh, gain control of target creature with power three or less. No end of turn. Untapped creature gains haste. And yeah, okay, cool. If that sticks around, we'll be able to perhaps steal something good. Maybe if we get some kind of fodder or something. Nope. Well, all right, three. All the Dominaria ones are um, pretty good. Oh, can't be blocked. Unblockable is always good. Yeah, the Dominaria three drops are always really good. Benelish Marshall increases the power and toughness of everybody on your field, and the green one, Steel Leaf Champion. It just can't be blocked by three or less, or two or less, or something. 
That one's kind of useless. It's just a 3 3 death, death touch. It's good, but. It's good as a body, but. The ability is. There is no point. No blocks. Um, we are going to do a 4 drop. Get rid of the planes. Uh, deals damage equal to its toughness to target creature blocking or blocked by it. Interesting. Okay, so it essentially can deal three extra damage to a blocker. That's nice. Um, depending on what they drop, I'm probably going to skip five and go directly to six. It's stuff like this. You don't, you don't see it very often, so I don't like... Eh, menace is good. So I kept a I had a planes to drop next turn. That's just gonna be an annoying trigger for them forever. <laughs> um we are not going to block. We are going to drop planes. Attack with both. See if he blocks. Yep, he does block. So we will deal three damage and kill Vess. And we'll end the turn. Still haven't seen anything. Like, these are the only two things that I can actually take with this. So there's no point in actually doing it. Oh no! Okay, well, he can't die this turn. <laughs> yep, no, nope, that's fine. Um, well, I'll drop the swamp. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll do six. Uh, get rid of the forest. What is this? When it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one creature token for each non-token creature you control. Oh, that's that's fun. Alright, well, we at least get in for 2. They're going to get in for 5 because, well, that's just what flyers do. Oh, Shiv and Dragon. More flyers. Well... We're on a clock. And it looks like we're going to lose next turn. So. I'm going to resolve that. I'm just going to. Nope, nope. I don't want to do that. I want to block. Thank you. That at least kills both of those. We're dead next turn if we don't get a flyer anyway. Um. And we don't get a flyer. We lose. All right, well, let's just do the one drop. See what we get. Oh boy, a neonate. Well, it'll help us uh, on turns where we skip. That'll be nice. Uh, I think I am going to skip two and just use the neonate. It gets in for damage, that's for sure. Do that, that damage. All right, we're going to we're going to skip three. We're going to go directly to four. And he is also going to skip three. We're going to do a four drop. Get rid of a swan. Uh, we're gonna get rid of an island. Whenever it attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Interesting. This does not have a defender, so it can attack for zero, which is stupid, but it can. I don't know what he's holding up. Okay, so we went for a four. Wow. Okay, never mind. It's only draw three cards and then put two on top. So 
It is card draw. Card draw is good. Uh, we will go for a five. Get rid of a swamp. Chillbringer. That's nice. Attack for this. Uh, I will not sacrifice something, just in case we can neonate something. Ooh. Well, that's fine for now, I guess. What are we on? Five? Alright, we will we will make a six drop, because there are some good sixes, and then we'll make a seven drop. Uh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Whenever Light of Legion put a one one counter on each white creature you control. Well, that's not great, but it is a 5-5 five, five flyer. And it does have Mentor. So, that's cool. We will decline that. Would be nice if we had another white creature. Just because... On each white creature... Oh, the creatures you control have Vigilance. That's not good for us. Seven. Island. Other dinosaurs you get plus one, plus one. Uh, create a three, three dinosaur with trample. Okay. So we could skip. Um, we can skip our eight drop to get nine. I will swing in for this. Just because this has menace, and this will put on this, we will sacrifice the neonate to give this six. Just because I don't want to... Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't want two creatures to die. And they're at three, so as long as they... Oh yeah, I have a menace, so next turn we just win unless they get something that generates a token. Or something that kills something. That's not going to do it. And it looks like we win. And he realizes it as well. Sweet. Three and one. Wait, no, we just started. Alright. Card. Declare dominance. Alright. Yeah, three and one. I was right. Okay. Two and one. Two and one. Uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake. Although the Neonate did help us. He got in two damage. Uh, drop Swamp. And we will do it too. Have too many planes in our hands. Hey! There we go. There are a lot more mana dorks on two than there are in one. So that's part of the reason why I like to do twos. There's also Gatebreaker Ram. That's not going to do anything. It's just going to be a 2-2 forever. So we are going to do a 4-drop. Because we can. We are very much ahead now. That doesn't do anything. It is. It does block the Ram, though. So that's good. We'll swing it in uh, if he doesn't get anything good. Gatebreaker Ram can be very scary, but when there's no gates in the deck, it's it's fine. Oh, okay. Well, that is very useful, except it cannot flip. We'll, we'll see if he uh, understands how that works. Because it's a token, there's nothing on the back. So when it flips, it just goes away. So we will go for a 5-drop, because we are so far ahead. Sarah Angel, that's good. Um, it can block the 3 2, so I'm just going to leave it back. If he leaves up mana and doesn't use Momir, it's just because he's either. No, okay. So he does understand how this works. Oh, that's really good. Oh, nope. That's the wrong one. Has dealt damage, put a 1 1 counter on it. Okay, well. Six drop, here we come. Drop the forest. Ooh, 
that's not gonna work because it's cast, not play. It'll mill him out eventually. I'm just gonna attack with this. This has got vigilance. This is just basically a really good blocker right now. Everything else is gonna get exiled from the, the graveyards. Or libraries, I should say. We had that last time. It's not very good. It's just 3-3. Three, three. It does make things indestructible, though. At least the, the ram. <laughs> Makes the ram indestructible. What are we on? Uh, two, four, six, seven. Mana dorks are something that almost always makes you win. Ooh, that's good. All right, that's what we faced on the last video. That's really good because <laughs> whatever's going to block is going to die. He'll probably, if he doesn't know what it was, he was just reading it, so he should know what it does. He'll probably just block with the ram, yeah. But this kills him next turn if he can't get rid of the Sarah Angel and or the Angrath's Marauders. That will block the Sarah Angel. Whenever a creature with flying attacks, you can draw a card. That's pretty cool. Well, um, let's see, six, seven, eight. What do we got? Polyraptor. That's pretty cool. Um. We're in a good situation. We're just going to attack like this. Oh, whenever any creature with flying attacks draw a card. That's really good. But he has to block both of them or else he's dead. And it, yep, because this just exiles lands. You have to block it. It'll kill the Sarah Angel. Oh, no, it won't because he's only got three power. So the Sarah Angel lives and it gives him one more turn. Um, he could make it indestructible. Oh no, it's less. Less than. Um, he is going to kill the Atali. However, both of those will die. Everything's gonna die, except for this. And then he'll die on the next turn, because we have more things than he does. More creatures. That's not gonna work. Good game. He might scoop it up. He might also just want to see what he gets. But he he's pretty dead. Especially with this on the field. Oh, that's cool. He, he got a Gishath. It's got haste and vigilance. It'll deal seven damage to me because I won't block it. Actually, I will. Yeah, I will. I'll block that. I'll block it with the Polyraptor. Because I get another Polyraptor, I'm pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> Polyraptor's such a good blocker. I just... Oh, nah. I wanted to see what we got on nine. Skip the one. He skips his two. I am going to draw two. See what we get. That's not going to do anything. It's just a two-two. Because we're not actually casting these tokens. It just puts the token into play. Dejin is good if he has a lot of uh, a lot of islands. 
That's why I usually try to prioritize. Well, it, it's good to prioritize over um, islands, but only on the three drop. Um, come on. Man, it's still laggy. Have it fight another target creature. All right. We're not going to do that because that's dumb. I have never seen this. But it does have reach, and it'll block that for days, as long as he doesn't have more islands. Ooh, his, his four drop is Tesa. That lifelink's gonna be a pain in the butt. Yep, we're gonna just block this. Oh, that gives vigilance to everything? Oh, and lifelink to everything? Oh, because everything's a token. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize how good that was. Holy crap. He's just going to keep gaining life even though he can't get in. I think we lost this one. This this is a... Uh, oh, no. I want to keep that one. That's rough. Ooh. That, that's a good one. That's pretty good. Nope, 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 nope. I definitely clicked no attacks. And if he ends up getting a, an afterlife creature, that's gonna give him even more tokens. Uh, what? Why does this this keeps coming up? I don't know. That's weird. There's a battlefield. May return another target historic permanent you control to its other hand. Okay. It's a good thing it's a you may for him because that would have sucked. Yep. We're just gonna block. He's gonna gain a life. Um, I think I want to skip five. However, do I want to attack? I probably shouldn't. I'm not gonna attack. We're just gonna end the turn. Oh, he got another island. He's going to be gaining two life a turn. This is rough. Ouch. Oh. Now he can just attack with everything. Oh, this sucks. Yep. I can still block this one, and I can still block this one. So we're taking two, and nothing dies. That's really good. Alright, we have to get something good on six. That's pretty good. However, oh yeah, that's actually really good. I can get rid of that. Um, and we're, we're each going to get a land, so... We're just going to not attack. And I'm going to Vivictus away. Probably this guy. And this guy. Whoa! I am going to lose. I'm. Is that... That's not 18. I'm just going to take it. He's going to gain so much life. I, I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> Seven? Oh, wait. You know what? Can, we, can I cancel this? Yeah, I can cancel this. So, I'm going to attack with this. Get this and this. And then I should be able to do nine. Three... Oh, no, it's eight. Can I get nine? Hopefully? Nope. All right. Well, I can get eight at least. And hope for the best. That's better, but I'm pretty sure I just lose. I can block everything except... Oh, no, I can't. I just lose. Yep, I just lose. Alright. 
I tried. Ah, oh, that was such a good angel for him. And Tesa is amazing. Infiltrator and sword. And 200 gold. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I think that's the end of this video. And uh, come back next time for more Momir or something else. I'll probably do one or two more Momir videos. Uh, but check out the rest of my channel. I've got a bunch of other playthroughs going on. And if you like it, please subscribe. Let me know how you, how you like everything. And tell me if you want to see more magic. I will do my best. But I have limited funds and limited cards. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.